Hi everybody, I'm going to do a video now of me actually painting the unicorns. Um, earlier I tried to do Instagram live of me trying to get them out of the mold, which was a total disaster because they were being a total pain in the behind. Um, so what I've got is my unicorns. I've got um, my paint, which is mica pigment and 91% isopropyl rubbing alcohol basically. Um, and then I mix that into what I use to paint the teeny weeny unicorn soaps. So let's get started. So first I have, I'm going to do the colors and then I'm going to do like the uh, gold accents. So first I have pink and I actually need to mix up some more. So I have some pink mica. Come on, buddy. Oh, shoot. And again, like, I'm not measuring. Um, I just, I know what consistency I like. And so, back behind the camera here, I've got my alcohol. And I'm using a dropper so that I can get the consistency that I like. And the brush that I want. Which is... Ah, this guy. Okay. And then we'll save that because that dropper's actually not empty. And we shall use it if we need more in this one or if we need it for the next one. So then you're just going to mix it. You want to mix it really good. So you want this wet. I don't know if you guys can see the sparkle, but... So there's some sparkle happening there. Um, so yeah, you don't want it like super wet, but you still want it to be a liquid, you know? So then what we're going to do is we're just going to get started and see. Oh, lovely. And I'm only painting 21 teeny weeny unicorns today because I have an open order. Two open orders, actually. And this is what I need to fill them. Usually I'll do these in bigger batches. I think one time I did, um... Well, I poured 77 of them at once. And then... Um... I didn't paint them all at the same time. Oh, and I have a little cup of uh, alcohol here so that I can clean my brush in between colors. Now, as far as like, for those of you who might be other, you know, fellow soapers and stuff, when I label these, I package them as a group with the whole rainbow. So like I'm listing my ingredients um, for everything anyway. So I'm not so worried about like, uh, at least on my website, like I know I don't have to do that on the packaging, but on the website I'll list everything uh that way like i'm not worried if like a little pink is in my orange you know that kind of thing so let's see how our orange is because it looks like there's already like a little bit of wet in here and again like you don't need a ton see because you know i'm only painting wee bitty unicorns and mixing this up in like large batches is it doesn't work just because like uh, the alcohol does dry out so, you know, if I mix a huge batch of this, it's not going to matter because the alcohol is going to dry out and then I'm going to be back to having to mix it all over again the next time I want to um, paint anything. These are actually going on really nice today. So like sometimes I'll, I'll mix the paints a little too thin 
and they'll just be kind of watery and run off the sides everywhere, which is why I paint on wax paper just in case. But so far so good on the paint consistency. These are looking really good. And I'm hoping that, like, eventually I can do... Oop, don't move. Stay. Good pony. Um, I'm hoping that I can, like, live stream. Like, on Twitch Creative or something like that. Because I think this would be really fun to watch. But for right now, I'm just using my phone. Oh, I'm gonna smudge. Um, I'm just using my phone. And so, I can't see if anybody comments. Because I realized that, like, when I was live streaming on Instagram earlier was like oh somebody commented and I didn't see it while I was streaming I didn't see it until the end um so I felt bad okay so moving on to yellow and I'm going to grab a paper towel in case I have some color that I need to get off my brush especially when I go to do yellow since it's like the lightest and it's really easy to have that contaminated. So I'll just keep you back there for later, Mr. Paper Tail. All right, see how our yellow is? Oh, yellow's still good. So we'll just mix him up. Excellent. Right. See, so you can see. Now the yellow, it looks really light when I'm painting it on, um, just because like these, even though they're soap, they're, they still come out kind of cream colored. So they're, you know, a little creamy. Oh, see, that was a little too wet. A little bit of runoff there. And there's been times when I've come back after like doing an initial layer and done a little bit more just to brighten the color up. Yeah, the yellow's a little, a little wetter. Okay. This goes pretty fast. I mean, obviously not when I'm doing huge batches of them, but in general, it doesn't, it's not that bad. And some people are like, oh my gosh, this looks so tedious. Um, but I actually find it really relaxing, so this is actually kind of cathartic for me, really, because I just sit here and paint. And that's one of the great things about like having my own business because it's like I'm doing something that I think is fun, something that I found relaxing anyway, and I'm also making money. So cha-ching. Starting with the bottom one this time, I'm a rebel. My biggest problem with these is that I can be kind of a perfectionist. I mean, there's some things that it's just like impossible to get perfect and that's, I guess, part of the charm of these is that, you know, I'm hand painting them. They're not like made by a machine. They're not going to be perfect every time. They're not even going to be the same every time. But they're mine and I love them. Okay, so that's green. And I just get in the habit of like wiping my brush off in between every color anyway, so definitely not a bad habit to have. Luckily, these have stayed actually pretty, dare I say the word, moist um, since <laughs> the last time I used them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to anybody who hates that word. Um, 
since the last time I used them. So this is great. I haven't had to add too much alcohol to the uh, to the paints. So woot woot to that. And I also think it helps uh, make sure that my paint stays a little thicker so I don't have that really crappy runny situation where I'm just like every time I paint it's just slooshing everywhere. Oh no. Okay. Starting from the bottom now we're here. I know, I know that's not exactly how it goes but. If you have any questions, like, I am super into helping other people who want to do this or think they would enjoy doing this. I'll do other videos where, like, I paint the bath bombs and stuff, too, because, again, like, this is just fun for me. And I don't really have coworkers except my cats. So, being able to talk out loud is just kind of nice. Probably spares my husband from having to hear me talk extra when he gets home, so I'm sure he'll thank you guys, too. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching. I might do like a uh, a soundless version of this. Maybe do like a time lapse or something because I think that'd be kind of fun. Okay, so that was our teal color, which I love. I think, I mean, I don't get me wrong, Oop, green. I love purple. Purple is my favorite color, but I really love some of the teal colors um, that I'm able to get both in the bath bombs and in the soaps with the, with the mica colors. So I have a little bit of blue that kind of um, got a bit out of control. So I can kind of clean that up a little bit. Just kind of thin that out with some alcohol. Oh, I peed with a paper towel. There we go. It's a little better. If I have to, I can always get out um, the Q-tips or something and clean those up a little bit later. Okay, so then here's our darker blue, which also really pretty. I don't know if you guys can see the, the shimmering effect that happens on here, but that's what the micas do. And I love the shimmer. can tell these are going to be a little bit more liquidy. So I'm going to have to watch myself. If you guys like this video, um, make sure to like me on social media. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, Body Care by Nicole, on Instagram, at Body Care by Nicole, and on Twitter, at BCB Nicole. I don't tweet so much, but I might start, because everybody seems to love the Twitter I don't know, maybe I'm just getting too old, I don't know. Yeah, see this is like much more of the wetness and the leaking. So, um, like it'll still look okay and if I have to, like I can clean them up a little bit again with just a little bit of alcohol. <sighs> Which, you know, doesn't that fix just about everything? And then last, but certainly not least, my purple, which may need to be brought back to life. Yeah, it's a bit too dry. So, my dropper. I really hope that kept um, filming because my phone was like, low battery. I'm like, oh, really? That's good. Hope you didn't stop my video for that, asshole. Right. 
we've got our purple. And this purple is interesting. Like, it's a really pretty purple shimmer. The problem is, is it's got sort of like a, like a grayish undertone to it which again like you're you're working with micas these are mineral pigments so it's you know some of these it's like obviously it's gonna be a little bit different it's not gonna be a perfect purple but it's kind of interesting how um it dries and stuff so hopefully that's thick enough and this is our last color we're gonna paint on here so far, so good. And I do sell these. Um, right now the best place is my Etsy shop, which you can get to by going to my uh, web address, which is www.bodycarebynicole.com, uh, which I currently have forwarding to my Etsy because I'm still a wee baby shop. So me having my own standalone website is a little too pricey right now. This purple is looking fabulous today. Like, sometimes when it gets a little too watered down, you get to see more of that gray undertone that I was talking about. And even a little bit as it dries, sometimes that'll show its not-so-pretty head. But, no, these are looking pretty good. Alright. So, we're done with color. Now we get to move on to the bigger pain in the ass, which is the gold, because the gold, um, it is sort of mica, but it's also, a it's called floragapite, and this is gonna need some more liquid, um, flora, 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 I actually don't know, I don't know how to say it, let's be honest, maybe I'll look that up, um, and so it's a little chunkier, and it doesn't, mix as cleanly and it doesn't paint on as nicely so if anything is gonna like run look at how shiny um but if anything is gonna run and make a mess or make my life difficult it's gonna be this stuff and i try not to like glob it on because then it's more likely to uh make a mess when it dries and i'm trying to package everybody up but you know like you want a strong gold for like the so I use this to accent the hooves and, of course, the horn. And you want a nice, strong gold for that. Alright. This is looking a lot better. There we go. Much prettier. Okay. How did I shake shit all over the place? Skills. Okay. So we're going to do horns. And again, like, I expect this to run a little bit, so, again, this is why I work on wax paper. But I want to make sure I get plenty of that, uh, color on at least the top of the horn, just so that it looks nice. Sometimes they don't want to cooperate. See, it just like wants to like run off and pool on the bottom. And again, this is why I work on wax paper. Also, it helps because like if I swirl my brush around in here, I'm actually loading it up with, you know, material, not just like the alcohol. Which is the, what you need. There, that one looks a little better. I'll keep that trend going. 
And again, like I can always come back and do like touch ups if a couple of the horns don't turn out so great. I don't know what this looks like on the camera, me like bringing my hand back and tapping in here all the time. So hopefully it's not too irritating, but. All right, now we're gonna do feet. And feet are just like a quick, and again, like as bad as I want to be a perfectionist, I realize that this is just not possible. So like this gold is gonna run, the feet aren't gonna be perfect. I'm just gonna have to do what I can. And for the most part, like, they're so tiny, like. Painting these is just teeny, oh, see. I might be able to clean that up in a little bit. Camera check. There we go. I got gold everywhere. I just packaged some uh, gold accented bath bombs earlier today, so I'm literally just Edward Cullen glittery, which is fine by me. Not so much with the husband, but. He'll get over it. Yeah, it's so crazy how sometimes, like, it'll paint so nice, and then other times it's just like, mm, watery hot garbage. There you go. Have some of that. And, like, anything that, like, drips to the backs of these, I can, like, trim them up. Man, this is just... It does not like this unicorn. It just doesn't just doesn't wanna. This yellow one. Oh my god. So this green one though. See, look at that. Loves that one. I mean, and I guess some of you might be asking, like, what are these even for? Like, what are the purpose of these? I mean, other than the fact that they're just super cute, you know. Um, so these are what I would classify, other than decorative soaps, these are actually, like, considered guest size soaps. Because they're sort of, like, single use or a couple uses. Like, they're tiny. You know, like, if you just only need to wash your hands a couple times with them, or even, like, some people take single-use soaps to the gym uh, because, you know, grossness and stuff like that. So you only use them once and they'll do the trick. And they're super cute. And they smell really good. These are actually scented, uh, they smell like Fruit Loops. We'll just say that. It's kind of a, it's like a citrusy scent, but it is very similar to Fruit Loops. Which I thought was a pretty appropriate rainbow unicorny kind of smell. Let's come back and do some touch ups here. Or not. Okay. And last but not least, they need wee eyeballs. Um. See how so this is activated char activated charcoal um and I I like it better than the mica because it just gets like super dark um black like my soul um and it's really good for doing just these little bitty uh 
dark sections. So I'm gonna wet my brush. I'm gonna put some alcohol in here. And this stuff I have to be really careful with because if this gets like super runny, I'll go to dab an eye and it'll turn into a face mask. So not ideal. But yeah, if you have questions for me, post them below, or you can send them to my inbox, or you can send them to me on social media. Um, this is what I do, so I've got plenty of time to pay attention and respond. Um, I've only got a couple things that I do during the week that could keep me from responding almost immediately, so. Yeah, it's so dark. Okay, my brush gets really thick with it. I guess, like, if I wanted to do, like, a thinner, so this is, oh, God, I bumped you, I'm so sorry. Um, if I wanted to do thinner, I could use something like a toothpick tip or something like that, but I never said I was smart, so let's see what happens here. And I kind of do use the edge of the table to steady my hand. Boop. 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 No. Brush hair, get out of there. Boop. 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 And there they are. So this is Nicole with Body Care by Nicole. And today we painted Unicolts, which are my mini unicorn soaps. Um, these are going to get cleaned up for any that got, like, this one that got some stuff spilled on it uh, anywhere where I smudged a bit. Um, and then, of course, the backs get cleaned up from any, like, runoff or something. But for now, these guys are going to sit for a day and dry. And, um... Little finished guy. Look at how cute he is. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions or comments or concerns or anything really, just go ahead and uh, leave a comment under this video. Or again, like I said, you can message me anytime you want. And that's Body Care by Nicole is my company. Um, it's www.bodycarebynicole.com. And again, I'm on Instagram at Body Care by Nicole and on the Twitter at BCB Nicole and on Facebook. Body care, body care.